welcome to the 2011 Fall Brains and Beakers with our presenter, Monica Albee. So the whole reason why we have this museum is we need to, di uh, to document the world's uh, biodiversity so that we can better understand it. So in the future, when we are trying to maintain parks or problem solve with like new invasive diseases, zoonotics like hantavirus or bird flu, we have some kind of resource where we can study the animals. We're gonna make a museum skeleton today. And this is a Cooper's hawk. And, uh, and we're gonna take it from a whole bird, right here, hi. Uh, get it ready for the domestic beetles, which are flesh-eating beetles, and then, uh, so I can make it into a skeleton. Are you gonna take your skin off? I am. Oh, okay. And we're gonna be taking the guts out. Um, I brought lots of gloves. Can I keep a feather before you get it all bloody? You know, that is a really good question. Unfortunately, every bird that is native to North America is protected. And so if I gave you one of these feathers and you were caught by uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service or Cal Fish and Game, they're going to arrest you. I'm going to remove the skin. We're going to open it up. We're going to uh, identify the sex of the bird. I can tell you right now, it's a female. You see that thing that looks like a bunch of grapes? See that? That's an ovary. Those are, those are eggs. Then we're going to take tissue samples for the museum uh, for DNA. I'll take all the guts out and make it just a skeleton. I'll take it back to the museum, put it into the flesh-eating beetles. They'll eat all the meat off of it. Then I and my students um, clean it up, make sure that all of the flesh has been removed and make a skeleton. And we don't put it all back together because it needs to fit into a little box that's gonna go into a drawer. And the important thing is that I have all the data connected to it so that it's valuable to science. How is it different from like doing autopsies of animals? Is it like shocking? It's pretty different <laughs> from working on animals. But, you know, we're working on salvage animals, so it's always a tragedy. There's always some reason why the animals died. But when uh, you're working on humans, you know that, that that human being had a family, and you disconnect from who that person was and think about how do we figure out how this person died, um, how, what do we learn from this body, and then you disconnect. And that's actually why I can do this now, because I disconnect. If a species is more diverse, it'll last longer? Right. All right, so how diverse is the human race? So the human race is fine. We've got people everywhere and they're all having babies all the time. So we're very, very diverse. Let's give our guests a hand. No.